All right, so we are in the Model G 3500. It's another toy hauler. It comes in at 40 feet or just over 40 feet. It's triple axle. It has a 4,500 pound cargo carrying capacity. So let's look at that one. Hey everybody, Scott and Amy from the Road Robins. We are here at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show. And put we are- on, It's put on by the Florida Recreational Vehicle Trade Association. Yes, we are so excited to be here. There are so many things to do. Rigs of every single uh, configuration you could dream of. Size, you could have shape, it. type, whatever. If you haven't been here, I would definitely make and put it in your calendar for next year, yes. for 2025. Um, you can buy RVs right here on the spot. You can also buy everything you need to go inside your RV, in the in Outside the Outside your RV. <laughs> right. We're standing in front of Alliance because we actually we own an Alliance ourselves. So uh, Alliance. And we have a heart. Our heart is Alliance. Yes. <laughs> it's a great we'll culture. You, we will show you some other other rigs. We'll too. show you some other rigs that are uh, new and uh, fresh. And um, just uh, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button. And also, if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when we put new videos, especially when we're putting new videos out from the show. And I'll have a um, playlist from the uh, Florida RV Super Show playlist. All right. So, let's go. All right. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat See? Next to me. Yeah, that's wild Greg. Greg. Someone comes with a water filter mm -hmm. Bag down here. So you say you don't have a kitchen island. I'd like some more countertop space, and then you put this up, and you just slide underneath here, and it sits right on there. Oh wow! Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yep. Yeah. So it gives you more countertop space. Yeah. Which I really like. I would probably leave that up most of the time when we weren't traveling. No kidding, check that out. Yeah, because it just gives you so much more. 
Yeah. Way I more. Have the sink over here with the pool when no, it's really cute. This is a pull-down utensil drawer. Very nice. And this is pull-down knife. So you got your um, magnetic strip here, and you can put your knives in here. Wow. And keep them out of the way. Really tall yeah, adjustable cabinets. Shelving. Adjustable shelving. Adjustable wow, shelving. Yes, which is great. <laughs> wow. Wait. And then there's a residential fridge again. With a nice deep cabinet here. Yep. And we definitely need a stool, but that would be a great place to store paper towels and things like that. So here we have another pull out pantry. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you have a nice pull out pantry with mostly adjustable shelves. There's three drawers, and the rest of it's like completely adjustable. So that's great. So right next to the stove. You have this, you can use it for oils, you can use it for spices, you can use it however you want, clearly, but I like that too. Yeah. This is going to be your pull out trash and recycle, or trash for both if you don't recycle. Yeah. And then we have a paper towel. Yeah, I think this is where you're somewhere. I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, so this is a sliding. I know it did something. This is the paper towel. I knew there's paper towel over there. And then you have pull-out drawers that are soft clothes. They're very soft clothes. <laughs> I love the lights underneath the island. I want to put this back down because I blew up. <laughs> I know what it did, so I was just <laughs> there we go. All right. Check out this Tom's printer. And they all recline the bike. So these are manual in the center. Yeah, and then the electric. these are electric. These open up here. They do open up. Sure how. Well, I'm mean, showing it. The back. Wait, come over here. <laughs> this one, they show you, and I don't I just don't want to break anything, but these pop up for. That and this oh, yeah, pops up like that. Yeah, yeah. they do pop up from yeah. the front. This also got places for baskets underneath. Yep. So look at that. Oh yeah. Pulling nice. out. Nice. Mm -hmm. Love the windows. Love the windows. Pull the shade down. See what how nice that is. <laughs> yeah, that can walk right off. Right. I like it. Incredible. And then these windows open here somehow. They twist, I think. Oh, they came out like that. Yeah. And they just open out. Wow, that's nice. But then you have your, you have your screens that are below. See, Scotty? Yep, your screens the screen pop up. Go up. And then you have the. Oh, no way. Right. Both, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the hidden storage. I love having a fireplace. I will never own anything without a fireplace. Hidden storage. Yeah, hidden storage here. And there's also hidden storage up there. I'm not going to open it because they have the. Picture. But I think it's enough space. Do you think it's enough space? I definitely think it's enough space. Because you gain a garage, which we're going to. Yeah. I love this light. This light also has something to do with Wi Fi, I think. It's got Rockford Fosgate speakers. Yep. And system. Very nice. Right? I said that right. Let's check out the bedroom area. I love this linen. That's great. Comes wow. right out. So it comes right everything out. that we have now, I have to like reach okay. in there. Shove it in we there. have now and shove it in there. It's in baskets. But this is that's great. And then this is a pull out trash can. Yep. Yeah, which is great. I love the fact that they have drawers and recessed. Yeah. This one's recessed. That is yeah. the it's pretty decent size. And this is adjustable shelves underneath there for more storage. Okay. It says a door that so closes. So you have a door that closes. Which, uh, we have a barn drawer, which I have a love-hate relationship with. It looks cool, but I'd rather have a door. 
Um, although this door is not very wide, I do have to say that it's not real wide. You have plenty of plenty of dressers, uh, drawers in the dresser, but you also have drawers down here. And then there's a small amount. It's not real big, but there's a small amount of storage behind the drawers underneath the um, those drawers. And this actually pulls out for hidden storage here. Very nice. Your second washer dryer space hookups is in here. Oh, that's nice. So it's all in here. And then you have all of this storage space above it. Yeah. And then you also have more storage space in the corner here. A little odd shape, but it would it, it's stuff, it's gonna yeah, you know put, put stuff in there for sure. Absolutely. And Sheets and things like that are definitely put in there. And then you have a closet that actually has um it's prepped for if you want a uh, cool vacuum. Yep. Yeah. And shoe storage area. Oh yeah, absolutely. Or nice kids with more storage. Nice lighted bar. Here. It closed so lighted bar, so that's right. that's nice, and then more storage up here. So what's nice about the windows? You don't have yeah. the balances; they're nice and squared off. Yeah. But if you open it and you want it screen or daylight, yep. you have that. And then if you go the other direction, it's a room darker. That is really nice, and it's pretty dark. Yeah, or we can open it. All open and they pretty like much this. all do that, right? Most of them. I mean, this. this yeah, side that is... one goes up and down. Yeah, this but one. This, but the. These go down, I believe. These darken. These are these are like little kind of room darkening. I would put okay, this, on. there's no blinds on here. Okay. No, I would put something else on, but these do. I do like having this up here. Yeah, a little little storage, storage above you know, the little shelf, window. so you can have your king bed. Yeah, and have a king bed. And still have enough room to walk around. And one thing they do have is they have motion sensors down below, so you get out of bed, you can see the light comes on. Yep. And I do like there's there's no absolutely no floor no floor vents at no all no floor vents at all very nice yeah all right that was good we're gonna see if Scotty I'm gonna see if I can actually fit, fit in, the in the shower I'm not sure it's actually not bad not bad not even with shoes on yeah you do no, have shoes it's, it's on more room there is I do like this drain. Down here, how it has the long drain over the small. I mean, it's, it's not very, it's not very deep. This shower, as far no, as smaller. Width, width wise, yeah, it's not really that way, but it's, but it's, it's functional. It's not real far this way either. Yeah. Eleven foot drive. Okay, so I thought this one. Yeah, yeah they also have. Home. A large, large one would be a 16 foot drive. But this one is 11 uh, foot, which is plenty. My controls right here. This bathroom is different though. This half bathroom. Oh, this does have a definitely food. has a little sink in this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. You lose a little space in the living area for having that little bit bigger space. Yeah. But yeah. again, you have the loft. You have the loft. You have the happy jack and the uh, couches that come down. Your storage right. again. Let's check and see. What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's look at this real quick. I'll be right back. Power on you up here. All right. Call it a day and celebrate.